And I just want to tell you that I have a better solution for you than using iCloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, or anything like that. And it's personal, it's secure, and it's controlled by you. Oh man, I got something to show y'all. I can't wait. All right, let's see what my light is. Yo, so you use iCloud, you use Google Drive, or you use Google Photos to store all of your photos and data and so forth, and to maybe even cross-platform connect between different devices like iOS, Android, and Android. You know what I'm saying? You're a Google Pixel 3 XL, a S10 Plus, and an iPhone XS Max. And I just want to tell you that I have a better solution for you than using iCloud, Google Drive, Dropbox, or anything like that. And it's personal, it's secure, and it's controlled by you, not a third party. And this goes even deeper than just your smartphone devices. It also covers your tablets, just like iCloud and Google Drive would, as well as laptops and computers. One in 10 computers are infected each month with viruses. Same can happen with your smart devices. 113 smartphones are lost or stolen per minute. That's where iCloud comes in play, but that's also where this solution comes in play that I'm gonna show you. Because backing up our data is like more important than ever. Like we got a lot of personal data on here that we need safekeeping that we're carrying around with us that we can lose at any moment, any given time. With a more physical, tangible solution, you have the options of having in-house backup. Like I can have a RAID set up with this. What I'm talking about is the Synology DS1019 Plus NAS server but i'm just talking about a nas in general and i'm talking about synology their platform and what they offer for you that gives you a far more better solution than icloud google photos and google drive you can do a raid setup what the heck is a raid a raid is i have physical hard drives so i have two physical six terabyte seagate iron wolf nas drives inside of this hookup <laughs> these are like the top of the you know get down when it comes to NAS drives and the thing is two six terabytes but I only have six terabytes of storage because how a RAID works is everything that I put on one drive gets automatically duplicated to the second drive that way giving me two copies meaning at one drive something happens to it I don't lose everything I still have a safe backup now granted if something happened to iCloud somehow some way and we just everything just went away, what are you gonna do? Same with Google Drive, if something just happened, you know what I mean, instead of some type of hacker nonsense or who knows what, you are left at the mercy of that third party site. <laughs> and I get it, it's convenient, it's kinda inexpensive, and, and sometimes it's free. We all remember what happened with that whole iCloud situation. I don't mean to bring that up, yo, I get it, uh, but that was brutal, that was pretty rough. At least with a NAS server, you can set it up to be secure, personal, and controlled by you. So real quick, I wanna demonstrate really fast how I can get all of these devices to connect and talk to each other. Being that I'm a content creator, I'm using multiple devices, and say if I got a photo on my S10 Plus, but I wanna upload it from the iPhone, cause somehow, for whatever reason, Instagram works better with iOS. As far as picture quality, I can send that photo to my iPhone seamlessly. And I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So the Synology software, they have apps. And these apps work seamlessly with your smartphones. So I have the same app on all of these smartphones. DS Photo, boom. So right here, you're looking at three different phones with access to the exact same information in real time. So CJKT Photos, say I wanna upload a photo. I go to my phone gallery. Now this is my Galaxy S10 Plus. I'm gonna send something from the Galaxy S10 Plus and have access to it on an iPhone and my Pixel 3 like that, watch. So let's say I wanna send this photo off. Hit next, I hit next, I hit the upload. Now, it has started uploading. Obviously, it has to upload the photo, but it shouldn't really be that long of an upload. Let's see. There it is right there. It's uploading. Let's see. Oh, it just got, it got added, I think. There it is. Booyah, right there on my Pixel 3 XL. It's right there on the iPhone, right there on the Pixel 3 XL, and it was sit 
originally from the S10 Plus. Bam, right there on all three devices. Bam, 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 bam. Do you see that convenience right there? You can do the same with video. Also, with video, I can have my personal videos, my personal movies, and I can have my own Netflix. Let me, let me just show you a little something, something. Let's go into DS video on the iPhone. I want you to see my login. Don't see, I man, I got Hunger Games and all that right there, you know what I'm saying? Let me see. I can watch Hunger Games, Catching Fire. Booyah, Hunger Games right there with the subtitles popping off. You know what I'm saying? Boom, boom. <laughs> My favorite movie of all time, Belly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can get over here and watch Belly. It obviously has the loaded up and all that good stuff, but that was pretty fast. Belly right there, boom. Hopefully I don't show nothing too crazy. You know what I mean? Belly ain't. It's not the most kid-friendly movie, but booyah, belly. So, I essentially have my own Netflix, my own Google Drive slash iCloud. I have my own server. <laughs> and this is crazy, this is nuts. And in honor of what's coming up soon is World Backup Day. You know what I mean? You need to know how to back up your options. Also, for my creators out there that create like I do, you got all these 4K files, you need somewhere to dump them. This is a safe, super solid solution. Like literally, I could dump all my 4K files onto this NAS and have it duplicated and backed up on its own for safekeeping, peace of mind. And granted, I have five slots on this thing. I could fill it up. I have the plan to go out and grab more Iron Wolf drives, fill this bad boy up, and there's different other RAID setups that I could set up to where like one will be like that safekeeping just in case the other ones malfunction and it'll jump into place for that one. And you can hot swap the bad drive, put it back in and everything just a functionally keep on being safe and backed up. This is a crazy solid solution, you guys. I'm super hyped about this. Like, this is just the tip of the iceberg of what this thing can do. It gets like, man, it gets crazy. There's an iTunes server on there. I will be doing follow-up videos going forward, showing you the key features of the Synology NAS hookup. I'm gonna show you some of the setups and so forth. So if this interests you, like, you know what I mean? Hit that sub and stay tuned as well as, you know, if you have it, if it's in your budget, to go ahead and grab one. Now, I showed you the DS1019. There's other different setups, smaller ones that are just two drives that are a lot less expensive. Yes, it's an initial investment that's gonna cost, but think about that peace of mind. I got full control over my whole little server get down. I don't need iCloud. I don't need Google Photos. I have my own setup and I can feel my privacy, I can trust me. I got my privacy, I got me. So it, it's just, man, it's, it's crazy. And this is like unlocking my smartphone use, my in-home server use between laptops. Like if I need to move video files between computers, I no longer have to deal with putting it on an external drive and moving an external drive, plugging it in. I'm skipping those steps, putting it straight on the server, picking it up right there wirelessly too. This is dope. Real quick, just kind of how it works is you plug it into your wireless router at your house and you have access. You know what I mean? You set it up on a computer. The Synology software is really user friendly. It's a graphic user interface. You're going to access it through a web browser, but literally once you open up, it's like you're on a desktop. You click and move windows around. You click on icons. Literally, it's just like using your Mac or your Windows computer. It is so dope. Very user friendly, very easy. And I'm going to show you that in future videos coming up. So huge shout out to Synology for working with me on this. You know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> uh, I got a lot coming. So uh, forget iCloud, forget Google Photos and Google Drive and come get you one of these, baby. Link in the description. For those of you who are already sold and ready to take this journey with me, let's go get one. There's different kind. I'll link a couple of them down below. My name is CJ, this is CJ Knows Tech, where I love to talk tech and anything creative. Also, let me just add this in. You can still keep iCloud, Google Drive, and Dropbox, and Synology software syncs and works with those to where it'll automatically back up whatever you're putting into those. So it's getting deep. So you can keep your iCloud and all that, but you can make a safe, 
solid, secure, personal, private option with this. Peace. Who's hot?